we have two coils here. The inner coil has 300 turns and the outer coil has 150 turns. There is an air core, but we can also put an iron core. Electromagnetic induction occurs when a magnetic field moves through the coils. Here we check for current in one of the coils. When we place a magnet inside the coils and move it, we can see how a current is induced in the inner coil. Note that the magnet has to be moving. If the magnet is static, no current flows. So we need a varying magnetic field in order for a current to be induced in the coil. A moving or varying magnetic field can also be obtained with an alternating current. If we apply an AC current to the inner coil, a magnetic field which is alternating will appear, it will behave as an electromagnet and this magnetic field will induce a current in the outer coil. We have a bulb connected to the other coil and the current induced in the other coil will light up the bulb when we connect the alternating current in the inner coil. So we connect and oh, nothing happens. But this is because we have an air core. When we put an iron core, we can see how the bulb lights up. This happens because air has a very low permeability. It is difficult for a magnetic field to set up in the air. But iron has a high permeability and the magnetic field can set up very easily in the iron core. So the magnetic field enhances in presence of the iron and the bulb lights up.